Cheers, Hedge and Zuckers. How the heck are you? We're cracking some two with two of your beer with for whiskey with for a pad. Because I'm, you know, sporting a split personality for this video. <laughs> I've got a Firestone Lager, man. I do. A Firestone Lager. Firestone Lager Brewing Company. Got the ABV on here, but uh, that white, that gold lettering on white is. Brutal on these old eyes, I gotta tell you. I know it's here somewhere, but I can't seem to see it. There it is. Uh, four and a half percent. Man, well, that's what I thought, but I wasn't sure. Could not read. Gold on white. Damn! Anyway, uh, I'm just saying. It is a Thursday as I do this video. I typically wait till Friday to start drinking, but it's been a long week. I just want to relax a little bit. I don't want to get drunk Thursday. So how about, you know, <laughs> have a little beer, a little whiskey before dinner, you know? Maybe a little collar or anything. Anyway, so uh, the whiskey, though, is uh, one that's not necessarily in my wheelhouse. My wife found it marked down. I thought, well, what the hell, let's give it a shot. Windsor Canadian, blended Canadian whiskey. I'm not a great big fan of Canadian whiskey, but this one is really low on the food chain. Uh, but it was three bucks. So I figured, well, what the hell? So I've got it here on the rocks. I put it in a good glass here. That would help me. Eh? <laughs> I've got it served on the rocks. I wasn't going to do her straight. You got that Canadian whiskey uses a, a higher rye bill in bourbon, so you can feel that rye on the nose in a great big way. But I'm also getting some of the caramel and vanilla as you would in bourbon. It's not the worst thing I've ever had my lips around, but it's a uh, yeah, I mean, it's not bad, I suppose. It's not something I'd buy, to be honest with you. But I figure for three bucks, we'll give it a shot. I don't typically do high-end whiskeys because I'm not in that tax bracket, but I try to stay from the very low end, too. I'd, I typically would rather have quality than quantity, which is what a whiskey likes to for when I drink quantity over quality. But it is, it's not horrible for it, is, I suppose, if you know what you're getting. It's not something that I would buy on a regular basis, to be honest with you. It kind of has that tail feel about it, if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, but yeah, I'll have it, you know. I'll probably mix the rest of it in 7 up with Coke. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. So I want to have some on the rocks with you while I, I drink my fire. At least I got a good beer to wash it down. Here on Beer Whiskey Whisper Radio, we do it up right here. We don't play. We play some good tunes. Yeah, blame it on the whiskey. Paul Wood. I saw another guy I saw once several years ago. It's been probably well over a decade now. I had not seen him back in my neighborhood since. But Nathan P. Murphy's our classic blues club here in town. Man, it was a damn good show. One thing, I, I love performers that talk, right? Um... You know, you got these guys that, that will come out and they'll they'll do their set and then they'll walk off the stage and it's over. I love bands or I love artists that will talk to you. You know, make you part of the show. Uh, Paul Wood had a story for almost every tune, and that was nice. I like because I want to feel engaged. saw Leon Russell a few years ago, and, and Leon Russell's a legend, there's no doubt about it. And, 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 you know, he performed well, but he doesn't do anything anymore. He just, I mean, they got him in front of this uh, keyboard, he's sitting that just sideways, you really can't see. Uh, hell, I don't even know if it's him singing, to be honest. I mean, you really, I mean there, there's a lot of things going on. But he never talks. 
or interacts with anybody during the show. It was a little disappointing for me, but uh, he is a legend, and I want to see him once again. Pick up the whiskey. Had a couple of chicken sides to process for dinner. I didn't really know what I want to do with it. And my wife said some chicken salad sounded good, so we're going to do like a chicken pox salad. Kind of cool. <laughs> we're keep it simple. And it is rather warm here, right? I was going to do something different with it, but the weather is more towards that. So it's probably, I don't know, feels like about 80-ish. Might be just high 70s, but... Uh, it feels nice. I mean, it's not too hot. Don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining. It, but it, yeah, it, it, it was too nice to do something hot. She wanted to do something to, you know. If she wanted a chicken salad, then we're going to do a chicken pox salad. Oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. Hope I didn't get any hot. Anyway, I'm going to finish this off. There's something telling me it's just not going to get better. Oh, damn, my globe just split in half, man. <laughs> damn, globe, oh, that's why I like the big cubes. Even the, uh, the, the big square cubes, even the big globe balls, at some point they split. So, yeah, you feel some rye, uh, you feel a harshness, <laughs> uh, you feel a grain alcohol like harshness in there. Uh, yeah, there's some vanilla, some caramel. It's not the easiest to drink of whiskey. This one best for mixing, but I mean, it's going to put it in soda pop. It doesn't really freaking no matter. This will be my one and only shot of this uh, this evening. <laughs> well, actually, I put a, a two ounce shot glass. I got exactly two ounces in here. And they are now done. We're going to use this to get that taste out of my mouth. <laughs> anyway, I digress. It's, it's a decent American style lager. It's one of those in the category of it is what it is. They're not trying to reinvent the wheel here. They're trying to do a classic American style lager. And the truth is, it's good. If you can find it at a good price, which I did, I mean, it, 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 it was actually less than its uh, macro counterpart. So when it, if it comes to that, if I want a beer like this, if I can buy a, 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 an honest-to-goodness uh, craft beer, if I can find a well-made beer as opposed to a, a mass-produced product that's using cheap ingredients, then I'm going to do it every time. And even those macro lagers that are poured corn, most of them are using a flake corn. And it's not the same as the macros that are using a corn syrup. And you've got some jackasses out there that I don't want to tell you that there's no difference, but it is. To use the corn syrup, you're trying to cut costs. You're not trying to achieve a certain flavor. If you're using the flake corn, you're trying to get a specific flavor. You're not using that corn gratuitously. And that's the difference. You're not using it to cut costs, you're using it for a specific taste, and that's a difference. There you go. I am John Beer Whisper. I'm also John the Whiskey Whisper. Whiskey Van, just love the whiskey drinker from Beer Whisper Van. I'm, I'm John the Beer Whisper. Beer, beer Van, just prolific beer drinker for Whisper Van. All right, guys. Cheers, y'all. Have a good one.